hi everyone uh, first Muhammad Shah with you uh, today uh, we're going to talk about uh, the geothermal uh, direct vapor generation this is the second module by the use of um, flashing uh, processes flash cyclones uh, okay you have to specify your destination for which model you are you down, uh, you uh, download it uh, which your model is uh, downloaded so you have to specify your destination folder and going to uh, your model I do prefer to do this uh, click here and uh, sort by type by name and group by type okay in order to organize uh, your uh, uh, model folder okay this is our uh, model you have to drag and drop okay our model should be appear like this um, the main components of, of this model is that we have um, a condenser unit and flash cyclone and geothermal wheel and pumping unit and the source of uh, saline water such as uh, sea water or uh, or surface or sea water or well or whatever as a source of uh, saline water that we have to uh, uh, use it as a double acting uh, method uh, the first act is to it, it is responsible for cooling and condensation uh, through the condenser unit and uh, the second act is to uh, that it, it will be pumped through the geothermal well and then and then be uh, flashed again as a main source of steam and to be condensed and uh, to handle this uh, condensate and the brain blew down from the flash cyclone should be removed and uh, blown away to uh, to back to the sea or the main source of uh, 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 saline water okay so all we have to do is to click here be sure that you showed your model browser it check all of these icons and check all of this okay this is our main uh, unit okay we have to specify some uh, inputs let's begin from bumping unit we can specify a uh, bumping efficiency any bump temperature uh, from seawater for example and salinity uh, salinity of uh, saline water suppose it's around uh, 35,000 uh, bbm of saline water to be bumped uh, into the uh, geothermal well okay uh, let's go for condenser unit we have to assign uh, some uh, design or performance I will keep all of this uh, tube diameter shell diameter uh, okay uh, what is your condensate uh, what is your pro product that you are going to to produce I think uh, suppose I need just 100 meter cube per day okay 100 meter cube per day ambient temperature this is for exergetic analysis uh, and the top cycle steam temperature what is your top steam temperature uh, I think uh, let's begin from 100 let's begin from uh, 100 degrees Celsius and number of passes condenser passes I, I will make it uh, one passes okay performance effectiveness of your uh, condenser I think 80% is quite uh, logic and let's go for uh, geothermal well for geothermal well we have to um, uh, ambient temperature okay and uh, okay we can choose between uh, some uh, uh, standards uh, Arabian Gulf standards USA Euro standards suppose I'm going for Arabian Gal Gulf standards okay hot okay flash cyclone um, uh, brine blue down said you can specify your brine con brine blue down concentration suppose it's uh, around 55,000 uh, ppm let's go and see is effect of this and steam uh, velocity I will keep all of this uh, parameters okay now we can run this dynamically and or you can use your signal builder you can use it's a fully editable uh, uh, 
model let's go uh, hit run here and check our results um, just waiting okay the model is um, finished let's go uh, uh, inside unit by unit and checking our results okay this is a bumping unit what we have here uh, for uh, 100 meter cube per day we are going to consume around uh, 26 kilowatt and the specific power consumption is around 2.3 so uh, our uh, uh, pressure losses this is our pressure losses uh, uh, evaporation losses high pressure and um, temperature this is sea water temperature okay and this is total mass flow rate through the, the well is around 3.19 kilogram per second okay for condenser unit uh, it's a little bit huge okay uh, this is uh, LT steam uh, pressure uh, outlet cooling temperature this is outlet cooling temperature it's it, uh, it uh, normally is from 20 degrees Celsius up to 84 degrees Celsius. This is outlet uh, water temperature going to the well. So I, I think it's it's high. So we have to reduce this. And this is pressure, electricity pressure to the condenser. Uh, distillate temperature. This is uh, our condensate temperature around 36. Uh, distillate enthalpy, uh, distillate pressure, a condenser area, and Evaporate number of tubes, uh, tube lenses, and uh, condenser power, thermal power. Okay, going for geothermal wheel. Okay, um, for geothermal wheel, uh, we have to uh, for 100 uh, meter cube per day and 80 degrees Celsius, we are gonna to use around the well temperature it's around 280 degrees Celsius and therefore this pressure losses and uh, we have to dig around uh, for Arabian Gulf uh, region seven kilometers for j just 280 degrees uh, Celsius okay and we can check some outputs such as um, uh, casing diameter uh, uh, well depth this is well depth in feet okay for flash cyclone let's see our uh, flashing um, for 280 degrees Celsius and pressure around 64 bar we have to uh, extract our results just uh, well well top and salvi cross-sectional area, tube, diameter, uh, cyclone width, tank volume, okay, and total mass flow rate is around 3.19. Uh, uh, so this is the prime part. Uh, we have to uh, dispose or um, uh, uh, remove around 2.03 kilograms per second and uh, our dryness fraction should be around uh, 0 0.36 or 36.9 uh, quality okay and this is our pro product <clears throat> it's around 1.16 kilogram per second this is steam or product and if you if you uh, um, uh, this is total total cooling flow rate so the cycle okay is total so it's around uh, it's uh, the combination between steam and uh, brine brew down as you can see here okay let's go dynamically and uh, trying to change some parameters and see uh, the effect o o on dryness fraction uh, uh, set your time to infinity as you can see here e i n f okay uh, I'm, I'm just going to try to to use some uh, let it be temperature and see if I uh, was going to the flashing and let's hit run and changing productivity and see let's change uh, productivity I, I, I will increase it okay 
okay it, it it will affect on uh, design parameters okay of the flash cycle as you can see here changing and uh, let's go for uh, number of uh, condenser passes I increase it up to two at uh, top cycle steam temperature let's increase it okay yeah, I'm trying to increase okay and let's see here if we change it uh, the brine blue down salinity let's check the effect on brine blue down salinity okay it, it, it will affect on uh, the rainy fraction it will increase uh, your uh, dryness fraction uh, okay let's go for 60 thousands uh, ppm and see uh, what is our result okay is this enough for this let's just stop you can go here for uh, signal uh, inspector and let's see our results let's see our results this is second run okay we can inspect our um, hourly cost this is hourly cost it's changing according to uh, our change this is your thermal will cost and this is condenser cost we have to put it here your thermal condenser cost and this is bombing costs okay and uh, this is total uh, total costs hourly cost and let's go for uh, okay and uh, total water price use dollar per meter cube and we have here uh, bombing power a specific power consumption and let's go for uh, dryness fraction i think uh, uh, dryness uh, fraction is here outlet temperature okay and it's all be Condenser power, LED steam uh, pressure, uh, condenser area, evaporator. Okay, uh, uh, productivity and uh, weld ups. Okay, in order to show uh, dryness fraction, you have to go here and highlight this signal. You can double clicking, and there is um, some kind of dotted here. You can choose stream signals. Or all you have to go, all you have to do is to highlight this and going here and select stream selected signals to data in a spectral order to show the effect on um, uh, your dryness fraction and, uh, and see your results uh, out there. Okay, uh, finally, this is just a demonstration about how to use uh, such technique of. Um, uh, flashing and condensation uh, by the use of direct vapor generation and this is a uh, well temperature we can highlight it okay and this is wood pressure we can highlight this one okay uh, so uh, uh, this simple uh, uh, simple uh, uh, model is just for that generation by the use of um, geothermal energy uh, it's quite interesting model finally I would like to thank you very much for your interest in, in our model don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, thank you uh, very much